बी हैप्पी फॉर दिस मोमेंट नमस्कार वेलकम टू नेक्स्ट आई एस आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कवर मेजर हेडलाइंस ऑफ द हिंदू इंडियन एक्सप्रेस एंड प्रेस इंफॉर्मेशन ब्यूरो सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम Let's start today's discussion. And her first article talks about fame scheme, and it is in the news because government can introduce phase three of fame scheme in this year's budget. Talking about fame scheme, it was formulated by Ministry of Heavy Industries, and it stands for Faster Adoption and Manufacturing of Electric Vehicles. It was launched in 2015 to promote adoption of electric or hybrid vehicles in India. This scheme is part of National Electric Mobility Mission Plan, which was launched in 2013 to achieve national fuel security by promoting hybrid and electric. vehicles in the country talking about the importance of this scheme india's road transport sector contributes to about 12% to the country's carbon dioxide emissions according to the international energy agency making it the third most greenhouse gas emitting sector after energy and agriculture therefore government is trying to fast track decarbonizing transport for almost a decade with the introduction of fame scheme next article focuses upon pro tem speaker a recently president of india appointed bhartahari mehtab the pro tem speaker of the 18th lok sabha now let's know more about pro tem speaker so friends the word pro tem means for the time being or temporarily this post is not mentioned in the constitution but the handbook on the working of the ministry of parliamentary affairs mentions the appointment and swearing in of speaker pro tem the pro tem speaker is chosen to perform the speaker's duties including oath taking of mps now recently stepped a cesarean found in kaziranga national park it is a limbless amphibian and spent most of his life burrowed under soil and do you know friends diverse ecosystem of kaziranga comprising flood plains wetlands grasslands and hill tracks on the periphery provides an ideal habitat for herpetofauna which comprises reptiles and amphibians now recently karnataka cleared central government proposal on reviving gold mining at kolar gold fields which is owned by bharat gold mines limited a psu which was established in 1972 under department of mines now iit delhi project on antimicrobial resistance won second prize in the trinity challenge the name of the project is amr sense which addresses challenges of engaging motivating and training community health workers in amr servirians and management talking about trinity challenge it is a charity supporting the creation of data driven solutions to help protect against global health threats next article talks about hooch tragedy and it is in the news because more than 30 people have died after consuming hooch in tamil nadu hooch is a commonly used term for poor quality alcohol derived from hoochino a native alaskan tribe that was known to produce very strong liquor hooch is alcohol meant to intoxicate but if prepared incorrectly it can kill and do you know friends all alcohol is produced using two basic processes fermentation and distillation non distilled alcohol beverages like wine contain relatively harmless trace amounts of methanol but during distillation both ethanol and methanol are concentrated methanol or methyl alcohol can cause impaired vision high toxicity and metabolic acidosis now department of telecommunications held first networking event of sangam digital twin initiative which aims at revolutionizing infrastructure planning and design through the utilization of cutting as technologies and collective intelligence it represents a collaborative effort to harness the power of technology and collective intelligence for sustainable and efficient infrastructure solution and recently researchers have discovered a new genus of gompophonomide diatom from eastern and western ghats it has been named indiconema to value its restricted distribution in the country talking about diatoms they are microscopic algae that play crucial role in everyday lives by producing 25% of the global oxygen they serve as a base of aquatic food chain and due to their sensitivity towards any water chemistry changes they are excellent indicators of aquatic health and do you know friends diatoms are the first recorded microorganisms in india so with this let's conclude our today's discussion thanks for listening and for regular updates you can follow us on various social media platforms